Oh my god, look at you. Where's the kiss? <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Jeez. Look at your dress. Look at you. Beautiful. You, oh you look god. handsome. Happy? Good? Everything's good. Everything's good? Yeah. always looked up to Jennifer because she was always so independent. She was always a go-getter. It surprised me when she told me that she had a cute guy named Nick in her high school math class. I even got to meet him briefly in the hallway and I could see the chemistry between them. Fast forward several years, a couple Facebook messages and a few dates later, and these two were finally an item. I can't help but think that if we didn't move to Ohio when we did, which also happened to be Jennifer's senior year of high school, that we wouldn't be where we are right now. And that is why I truly believe everything happens for a reason. Looking beautiful. Thank you. How do you feel? Nervous? Mm -hmm. Good. Today we're having probably a very special family meeting. You know, everyone is here, and we welcome and thank so many of you for taking the time and making the effort to be part of this larger family. We've had some opportunity, like so many of you, uh, to see Nick and Jen meet, uh, become friends, start careers, fall in love over the past years. Now they've included all of us in the start of their new journey as a married couple. So like several others have done, let's all show our appreciation and support them in the future, in their next phase of life together. And let's share one more toast to Nick and Jen, the new Mr. and Mrs. Shore. Ground still wet and the sky still green. But you're still shining. Love is friendship caught fire. It is quiet, mutual confidence, sharing, and forgiving. It is loyalty through good and bad times. It settles for less than perfection and makes allowances for human weaknesses. Love is content with the present, hopes for the future, and does not brood over the past. When I fall apart To a million pieces When I don't know where to start Three, two, back together. one This leads me to this advice about fostering a harmonious marriage. Harmony is not possible in a vacuum. By its very definition, harmony requires more than one person. Harmony is not solitude, it is solidarity with our soulmate. Every relationship offers us opportunities to learn and grow. Harmony in a marriage couple involves welcoming every challenging situation as an opportunity to grow and expand our consciousness. Harmony in marriage, like harmony in music, is memorable and essential. By the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss.
Scatter. Good one. There you go. And I hear those words we made our own Sun lit up the boulevard Driving slow with it, sitting in your car Yeah!